Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. This is your Motivation Monday. I'm Pastor Nate. I'm excited to be bringing you a word of encouragement today. So we're going to be reading out of John chapter 1, verse 38, 39. So if you want to turn there quick. And Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. What do you seek? What do you seek? That's the question. That's, that's where I want to get with today, is what do you seek? What are we seeking with our lives? Uh, I was having a conversation with my wife earlier this week, and that was the question that, that came up because I had read it in a book. What do we seek? What are we seeking with our lives? You know, this passage in John, Jesus is beginning his ministry. He's come out of the temptation. He's come out of the wilderness. He's been baptized. He's beginning his ministry, and he's starting to call his disciples to follow him. And that's, that's who's asking Jesus these questions in this passage. Jesus says, what do you seek to the men who will eventually follow him and become his disciples? You know, a few weeks ago in our prayer meetings, which by the way, Sunday, Wednesday night, 6 p.m., would love to see you there. Uh, something that God spoke was speaking to me about during worship was, was this, this concept of purpose. And I felt like it was really a, a divine purpose. And, you know, something that we say here all the time is, you know, if you have breath in your lungs, you have a purpose, a calling, and a destiny from God. And we believe that wholeheartedly. And I really feel like God was sharing something to me about, a, it was a challenge for each of us to, to ask the question, what are we seeking with our life? Allowing God to give us the purpose that maybe we've missed out on because of some choices that we've made, because of wanting to be comfortable, because we want to do things that we know and understand. I really feel like God is beginning to call us out of, of the purpose that we've created for ourselves in this life. And it's not that it's a bad purpose. We may be doing great things with, the, with what we're going after in our lives. But God is calling us and challenging us to pick up His purpose and to ask Him what our purpose is. And that's a dangerous question, but it's an exciting question too. So honestly, I dare you, I dare you to ask God this week, what is, what is my purpose? What do you want my purpose to be? God, show me the purpose you want for me. And it all goes back to this, what are we seeking with our life? You know, in, in this passage, the disciples are, are seeking something. They know, they feel something different about Jesus. They're seeking something with their lives. And Jesus asks them straight up, what are you seeking? And I think that question is relevant for us today, right now. What are we seeking? Because a lot of times, we can just go through the motions. We can get stuck in our lane, go on autopilot, hit cruise control, and we just go. We just go. We just go. We may do good things along the way, but what are we seeking? What am I seeking with how I do my job? With how I spend my time in prayer and worship? with what I go after with my life. I really feel like those are the two things that God wants to challenge you in and ask, and he wants you to ask him, what are you seeking? What is the purpose that God wants for you? Ask him, what is my purpose, God? I promise you, he's gonna speak to you, and when he answers, you have a level of responsibility to act on it. God has great and amazing and wonderful things for us. And even now in this time when there's so much uncertainty, it doesn't matter. He is the light of the world. He's going to release his light on you and he's going to encourage you and empower you and send you out to be the light, to be the salt on the earth, to glorify his name and build his kingdom. As long as we're willing to ask and we're willing to obey and take the steps and seek him out. I hope you're encouraged. I hope this challenges your thought process this week. And I encourage you, ask those questions. Take time with God and ask those questions 
Ask yourself those questions. Ask, what am I seeking? And then ask God, what purpose do you want for me? I hope you guys have a great Monday. I hope you have a great week. And we'll see you next week.